Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace. Stay tuned until the end for a special offer. This is way, way too small. I don't know what you were thinking. We've been over this so many times. Grove Rain. Hello, dear friends. Today's video is very special because it's the first time lapse I've ever filmed at the Atelier. I've been working on a lot of charcoal drawing assignments lately for school, and I'm excited to share everything I've learned so far with you all. For this assignment, we were asked to draw a still life of a simple white plaster statue, and I chose the eye of the famous Statue of David by Michelangelo. It's a replica, of course. After setting up the lighting and everything, it's now time to begin the blocking stage to map out the size and placement of the composition. Now this is when my instructor walked by and very gently suggested that I make everything about 20% bigger so that I would have ample room to render all the details. I jokingly asked if he could repeat the critique but as harshly and as over the top as possible so that I could record it for some drama <laughs> for my video and to my delight he agreed. So what you're about to watch is a dramatic reenactment. This is way, way too small. I don't know what you were thinking. We've been over this so many times. I mean, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Grow <Grove> rain. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah this is definitely not how the instructors talk to us during class at all they're actually always very kind and constructive in their feedback very professional i'm so sorry for trolling all of you earlier i just really wanted to make use of this hilarious clip and kind of show you guys that we love to joke around and have a good time in this academic realism atelier as serious as the subject matter is we don't always take ourselves so seriously, and there's plenty of lighthearted fun to go around. Anyway, after resizing my block in, I used a combination of many different tools to render the drawing, including a brush, charcoal pencils, a white charcoal pencil, a blending stump, and this is also my first introduction to using a mall stick, which is a wooden stick that leans against your easel where you can rest your hand upon it for more stability without worrying about accidentally smudging the drawing. These sticks are great for painting as well, and instead of paying $30 to $50 for a pre-made mall stick at the art store, many of my classmates and I made our own mall sticks using $3 dowels that we got at Home Depot and Lowe's. Prior to joining the Atelier, I had never really invested much effort or time into practicing charcoal. In fact, I think the last time I spent a lot of effort on a charcoal drawing was probably in college or high school, and even then they were very small, like printer size paper. So every new technique I've learned here was like a new little adventure for me, not only trying to render realistically and perfectly with charcoal, but also working with paper that is so big and trying to magnify all these details. I realized that to make charcoal drawings look smooth, a layering technique is required. I needed to apply the charcoal pencil to the paper first, then blend it out using a brush or a blending stump, and then apply another layer on top of that and repeat until I get the desired value or smoothness. So because I'm going to be wearing and tearing on the paper a lot, it's also important to get a really sturdy 
style of paper. So for us in class, we use Stonehenge. And even though the surface is not as smooth, it's a little bit bumpy, um, the paper is very durable and can withstand a lot of, you know, constant erasing and layering. So yeah, it's been quite a journey to also try to smooth out the little um, surface bumps of the paper. Uh, sometimes we just have to sharpen the pencil to the point where it's like a needle point and then use it to manually fill in tiny little divots on the surface of the paper. So it's just a lot of menial labor. Um, but for me, it's very relaxing and very fun. I kind of love just getting lost in it. it up now for my first time lapse I've ever filmed at art school. I hope you all enjoyed watching this and please let me know if you want to see more art school content because I definitely love making them. Um, I will be uploading a longer, more thorough version of this tutorial on Patreon if you're interested. And also, it's finally the holiday season again. So my holiday sale from 2020 has made it an entire year without ending. So for 20% off your entire order of prints and originals, use the code HOLIDAY, as always, at happyd-artist.com. And the sale will probably not end until next holiday season, so no rush. If you're interested in learning more about how to paint and draw, I have lots of art educational content on my Patreon page, including exclusive video tutorials, step-by-step -step photo tutorials, live streams, podcasts, and even surprise art gift boxes. All available at patreon.com slash happydartist. I'd love to have you join my Patreon family. I wanted to quickly thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video and for supporting my channel and the art community. I've actually enjoyed using Squarespace for four years now to build and host my online shop and website. So whether you need a domain, website, or online store, make your next move with Squarespace. Start your free trial today at squarespace.com and visit squarespace.com slash happydartist for 10% off your first purchase. Also, if you want to check out more artworks, works in progress, and just random daily artist adventures, feel free to check out my Instagram and you can follow me at the handle at happydartist. Mm -hmm.